Hello YouTube, I uh, thought I'd do a quick pocket dump for you. So this is what I um, went out into town with. Um, all these things were in my pocket or attached to my belt. Um, first of all, wallet, ID, money, set of keys, house keys. Um, always carry my phone with me when I'm not at work. Um, this one's an iPhone. 4S um, in a waterproof, shockproof case. Um, always try and have some kind of light. Um, I've got a few torches, but this is the one that I carry in my trouser pockets um, virtually every day. Um, it's the 511 Attack PLX uh, personal light. Um, so it's about three years old now. Uh, it's lost the rubber end cap on the switch, so it's probably not waterproof anymore. But apart from that, it works really well um, as an everyday EDC uh, light. Um, what I like about it is it's nice and light and compact. Um, I've got other torches, they're all bigger and heavier. They might be brighter, but you haven't always got the space um, for a big heavy to torch. Um, attached to it is a glow-in-the-dark um, paracord lanyard uh, that a friend of mine made me uh, with a nice little skull bead um, black and white the white glows in the dark which I find quite useful um, tops pen um, there you go for writing stuff um, with a neck chain often carry it in my pocket with the chain attached to a belt loop though um, set of car keys obviously if you're driving you're going to need your car keys and I attach them to my belt using this Maxpedition uh, belt keeper uh, belt attaches by velcro onto your belt um, with a spring gate um, these are really really good um, I'd highly recommend one or two uh, very useful items uh, never lose your keys again and the knife of choice today uh, was a CRKT um, Long May number six design, um, UK legal because uh, it's got a non locking blade and a cutting edge of less than three inches. Um, so that's what I was carrying today. I really like the G10 handles, um, it's a really nice, deep um, carry in your pocket, um, and it's a really useful blade. I really like the design, uh, really sharp. So those were the items that I had in my pocket, okay, and in a moment I'll show you uh, what other items I had in my bag. Okay, so we've just looked at the uh, contents of my pockets for today's trip into town. Now I'm going to show you uh, the contents of my EDC bag. Now the EDC bag that I use, generally speaking, is the 511 rapid excursion uh, grey with an orange logo I'm sure you recognize that it's a nice lightweight bag uh, the reason I carry it is because it is so lightweight and it doesn't look obviously tactical and it's not adding extra weight just before I even start carrying stuff uh, the downside of it is that uh, the waterproof lining is starting to come off and I've had this since December, it's now September, so I've had it less than a year and already the waterproof lining is coming off which means it's going to get soggy in the rain. Simple um, full cord opening, there's no organisation in the bag, um, it's simply just a duffel bag. So let's show you what I've got inside the bag. First thing is my level one, I suppose, first aid kit. Very basic, very lightweight. Uh, 
it's got assorted plasters and a mini mini glow stick uh, nitrile gloves a must a number one ambulance dressing useful Neurofens, sterile gauze, a couple of sachets of the burn gel, that's really useful especially when you've got kids. Paracetamol and a larger water gel uh, burn dressing. I carry that around in an old lock sack bag that split a while ago but uh, Gorilla Tape mended it for me. Uh, also on the first aid front I have a Adventure Medical Kits trauma pack. Uh, it contains uh, 25 grams of quick clot, uh, trauma pad, gloves, duct tape, bandage, dressings, uh, antiseptic wipes, um, some instructions. comes in a nice waterproof bag that goes everywhere with me just in case. Right in the rain memo book. Um, it doesn't have to be a waterproof memo book, um, but as I um, keep my water in the same bag, if the water bottle were to leak or if there's condensation on the outside of the water bottle, it makes sense to have a notebook that's not going to disintegrate. Uh, the reason I carry a notebook is because you just never know when you might need to write a note, as I did this afternoon when I gave my details uh, to the victim of a, a road traffic accident. Um, and I witnessed the accident and I gave him my details just in case him or if his insurance company or the police want to get in touch at some point. Um, a pair of uh, mechanics uh, work gloves. Uh, you never know when you might need to uh, put a pair of gloves on um, picking broken glass up or whatever else you might need to do. Um, if you've got any nasty job to do it's always better to to wear gloves. So I've got a pair of gloves, I carry them around with me all the time. Um, I've got a Peli case, uh, 1010 micro case, um, that's got my GoPro in it. One of the entry level GoPros. Uh, it's so small and so light, I try and carry it around whenever I can, not necessarily every day, but you never know when you might need a camera uh, just to document something. Um, and it may as well be uh, something that's waterproof and you know the battery is charged. If you rely on your phone, you might not have memory or you may have um, a situation where the um, you know, the battery is dead. Uh, so I know that's, that's fully charged and I charge it on a regular basis. So that's useful for that. And then I have a pair of heavy duty um, rubber gloves with puncture resistant fingertips. Um, these were marketed several years ago by the Hatch uh, Corporation. I can't remember exactly what they were called but I've got a few packets lying around still and they're past their um, expiry date but they're rubber gloves. I do believe they contain latex um, but I don't have a latex allergy thankfully and if you uh, think you might need to get your hands really dirty then these are a really good idea. So that's why I've got those. And then I've got a Maxpedition uh, micro pocket organizer. I've had this a couple of years. Sorry about that. Um, I've got a Bear Grylls uh, fire steel. I've got a, Mo a Mophie um, battery pack. That will give me a 25% charge on my iPhone, USB and a 30 pin connector. For emergencies charge it uh, check the battery status uh, by pressing the, the battery button you get a green light and you're good to go and that just lasts for ages on once it's charged so you charge it forget about it and um, just charge it every few weeks it's really rugged it's got a key ring on it I keep it in my bag though um, Swiss Army knife with a light hound micro light Always useful to have more than one source of light. Uh, more paracetamols. Uh, some CR123 batteries. 
I try to always have some CR123 batteries on me because if you ever need CR123 batteries, you really don't want to have to stop off and buy some on the day uh, at a photographic shop or, or on the high street because they are so expensive. So buy the mail order, get a saving, and then split them between your kits, between your bags. So wherever you are and whatever you're carrying, you've got a couple. I've got some CR123 torches and um, I sometimes obviously you carry those. And Multi-tool, Leatherman Squirt. I'm sure you're all familiar with the Leatherman Squirt. Excellent piece of kit. For everyday use, I've never needed a tool bigger than that. That's easy to carry. There's no excuse for not having it. Uh, it's really, really useful. So that goes with me most places. Um, I also some waterproof matches and some Tinder Quick because my EDC could be an urban EDC or it could be a uh, camping out type EDC and I'm lazy and I don't like to have to give too much thought to what I'm carrying so I generally have uh, overlap in the stuff that I'm carrying so the ability to make fire is useful can be useful and probably will be useful one day just forgot to mention the Bear Grylls firelighter has got a nice little whistle in case you need to draw attention to yourself and that everybody is my EDC for today and my pocket dump I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching goodbye